they're beautiful cats. All right, uh, Dr. Bixman, we're talking about the hot summer temperatures, but not just for humans, for our pets as well, and they're very susceptible to yeah. this, right? Heat stroke. Most people don't realize that our pets are more vulnerable than you and I to heat stroke. You and I will sweat to cool our bodies down, and they don't sweat, they actually pant, and that's not as effective at cooling their body temperatures down in extreme heat. So the clinical signs that we typically see with heat stroke is like frothing at the mouth and hyperventilation and brick red mucous membranes. And uh, if left untreated, it'll actually go into shock and they can die. That's truly a medical emergency. And if you see a pet in heat stroke, probably the most important thing that you can do is get them out of that heat and into a cool environment. Once you've got that, them in that cool environment, then you need to contact the veterinarian or emergency hospital so they can help tell you how to cool that pet down even further. And we see on the screen right there, it says short nose breeds more susceptible as well? For sure. Think about that they can't breathe. So your bulldogs and your pugs and your French bulldogs, they just have, they have respiratory problems as it is. And so panting's difficult enough for them, let alone in the heat. So I think it's really important that owners try and prevent the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, don't leave your pet in the car even for a course, moment. Yeah. Obviously, if it's really hot out, don't exercise them in the heat of the day. Exactly. You bet. That's what I always say. Somebody always say, when you go and walk your dogs, just, you know, go barefoot on the right. cement. If it's too hot for your own bare feet, mm -hmm. then yeah, that's exactly probably right. too hot for your pets as well. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. <laughs> to contact Dr. Vixman at Evans East Animal Hospital, 303 757 7881 for more information on adopting Soraka and Kasima. Kasima, I got one right. <laughs> uh, log on to the DenverChannel.com. We posted a link to the Rocky Mountain Feline Rescue where you can check out more on these two kittens. They are so sweet. We'll be right back.